Welcome to Global Risk Community Chat. Today, our guest is Albert Varty. I'm very happy to have you today here, Albert. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you here today. So, uh, well, yeah, thank you so much for joining. So before we start, and can you briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Hi, uh, my name is Albert Vartik. I am uh, working as an OT cybersecurity officer for uh, an uh, uh, upstream uh, operation for Omevi Petrom, which is a oil and gas company in Romania. Uh, for the last uh, three and a half years, like, like this, so move uh, background of more than 15 years uh, in the industrial control uh, systems. So this is the main uh, uh, background of the technical yeah. stuff. Yeah, Sounds pretty good, it's kind of related to also the topic of course you want to share. So with that being said, what would you like to talk about today? Well, uh, since uh, we joined this uh, risk uh, community, uh, I want to discuss and share some thoughts, maybe some experience uh, regarding the uh, risk management and the OT ICS uh, cybersecurity for the critical infrastructure. Yes. So this will be the main topic that will be highlighting some of the aspects because this is a very long and wide topic and fr freshly came in the, in the market and, you know, there is some doubts, there is some questions. So I will try just to describe some things that I have from my experience, maybe for somebody will be useful. It sounds super good. I think it's also in the upcoming trends as well, the cybersecurity as well. So let's then jump into the topic. So what are some key things you, uh, when it comes to, you know, maybe OT cybersecurity or when it comes to risk management on that end? Yeah, the, the most uh, important things is that um, uh, any of the operators that uh, are related with the critical infrastructure, we, we call them in Europe operator of essential services. They have to define for their uh, OT cybersecurity program, uh, which, are the, which is the framework for the uh, risk management in this area. So this uh, mainly uh, describing the framework, describing the, the risks that could come and affect those control systems that uh, the operation are relying on. And uh, first is to identify the threat landscape that uh, could be the main uh, part of the risk calculation evaluation. And then uh, establishing this framework, they need to, uh, to, to find out what is the methodology and uh, what methodology to use to leverage and to measure that risk because uh, uh, it's a new uh, uh, domain it's a new uh, part of the operational risk and this operational risk uh, it's very linked when special for the critical infrastructure it's very linked with the aspects of the control system that uh, are uh, controlling those processes that are part of the operation in the critical infrastructure so these are the key focuses to establish a framework and to have uh, the criteria and the methodology to do the evaluation of this risk. After that, as usually for any risk uh, uh, management, uh, you need to, to, to have a response for the assessment in case you, you, you do the assessment. And then after this response is done, you need to monitor it. I mean, to, to get to close that life cycle and to see how the uh, response is acting and how the risk was mitigated or whatever the, the, the response was, how is dealing with the system and how, how you can improve this process or process of uh, mitigating and downgrading the risks that uh, really affects or really could affect in case of uh, a cyber attack or a threat that could be uh, exploding a vulnerability or uh, some of the systems. So these are mainly the, the main criteria and the main uh, uh, path when you're following the life cycle of the risk management in OT. But here are details. So how you do, what is the methodology? This is up to the, the, the owner of the systems, owner of, uh, of the risks finally, because those control systems are supposed to have the owner that is in charge for those systems. And then that owner shall be the one that is in charge for the risk. So that the risk needs to go from the lower tire to the up above sea level and to leverage and explain 
what is the risks so the sea level management understand at the level of corporate so in the enterprise level that operation risk can be fit in and to have a risk register where it's uh, registered and uh, uh, the sea level management level can can put it in account for the portfolio of the risk so this is, uh, you know, in the uh, hi highlighting aspects, the main uh, criteria, main aspects of the OT cybersecurity as usual operational risk, how it fits to the enterprise one and uh, how is the life cycle to do the uh, risk management. Sounds quite good. On that end, I'm hearing a lot of, you know, steps or a lot of things, key things that uh, our audience can look into actually a lot of, you know, like there are, of course, you, did, you couldn't share the details due to time constraints, but there are a lot of things I think that risk managers can look into or communicate with um, uh, executives as well, I think. So with that being said, what would be some, you know, takeaway points that our viewers can, you know, start thinking about or implementing if you were to focus on one aspect of it, one, what would be the thing? Yeah, uh, as we said before, uh, the subject will be about the critical infrastructure. So if it's critical infrastructure, then you have essential services. So those essential services are crucial, critical. So you need to have the availability in place, which is the main criteria for the OT cybersecurity. So um, uh, the, this priority of the availability also goes hands in hands of the safety. Safety is one of the priority that is differentiating OT cybersecurity from IT cybersecurity. So in case if you are dealing with the critical infrastructure, you need to take in consideration this aspect of the safety. So you are dealing with the HCC, with the health, safety, security, and environment. So here you can have those outcomes that are impacts could affect your reputation, you could affect uh, the financial part of uh, your company and uh, environment impact. So these all together are uh, practic uh, leveraging the all consequences and impact on your business. So you need to have a continuity and you need to take in consideration because this is a new risk to, to, to put it there in the place of the operational risk and to be counted. So mainly the main challenging point now is that uh, what is the methodology and how to assess it? Because yeah, we know it's a risk, but all risk needs to be counted and needs to be leveraged and uh, measured. And in this case, uh, there is a framework issued by the EAC and ASA, ACA, uh, it's an international uh, uh, society of automation, and uh, which uh, the standard comes from the family of 62443, 3-2, in 2020. This is the standard related to the OT cybersecurity risk management, and it gives the steps how to do the risk assessment. So this is the methodology, as I said, from the beginning, you do the framework, then you look for the methodology to evaluate it. So the framework, again, you need to put those priorities, how to leverage uh, the risk and how to relate this or the cybersecurity risk with the other collateral risk that coexists, like the ones, as I said, for the HECC. So all this together needs to be framework in a very world specific and with responsible people, with uh, accountably, uh, accountable people for these processes. And as soon as you have the framework lever, uh, done, then you move further to use those methodologies, a specified one from the 62443 standard, and then use it to uh, do the assessment. So here, sometimes uh, things are getting a little different because it's something new in the market. And uh, when you want to make a connection with IT stuff, then then this is a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. So it's quite good. That's also quite insightful. I think you added up so much more also that you know risk managers should be looking into, especially when it comes to critical infrastructure. With that being said, I want to just ask one uh, last question. We are running out of time, unfortunately. And that is how it is for you to be part of the risk community. Well, I was what well, well, was was open for any community in the matter of the risk management and stuff like this. Before I was dealing with the HEC series because I have the what the uh, industrial uh, instrumentation and control engineer. 
but now uh, getting you no know, new challenge like OT cybersecurity risks, it's it's for me it's a good opportunity to join this community and uh, develop and um, get some other knowledges from the others and uh, share mine as the, per the community rules, which is great and such a community it's always welcome for me. Sounds super good. And I really appreciate that comment as well. And we are looking forward to, of course, you sharing more expertise with us. And thank you again for this chat as well. So with that being said, unfortunately, we are now out of time. So again, thank you so much for joining, sharing the expertise on this, I think, very upcoming trending topic as well. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye.